really wish that there was this kind of footage when Mark Duggan was shot, when Jermaine Baker was shot, when Azel Rodney was being shot, in the hope that we wouldn't have to go through the very long inquiry process that we have had to, and the families had to struggle as long as they have had to, in order to try to get justice for those killings. Well, you mentioned those killings, but if you look at the figures in the States, 156 black men and women uh, killed so far this year by the police. Shocking number. One here in the UK, one too many, sure. But isn't a different campaign needed here? Uh, certainly, and a different campaign is taking place here. Um, in the last eight months, three black people um, have died at the hands of the states, um, perhaps more. Um, Sarah Reid, um, uh, Esma Hamid, um, and Jermaine Baker, as I already mentioned. And so, yes, um, this is a different context, but it's not a coincidence that black people are dying on both sides of the Atlantic and disproportionately representing the criminal justice system at both sides of the Atlantic. I think it's a great marketing tool to get your voice heard by the people all over the world as to the issues that are happening. However, I think there's a slight confusion as to what the agenda is and what are we asking for. And I think we just need to be very clear um, about what is it we're asking for and what changes we would like to see, what policies we would like to see um, being made. People are gathering in East London um, uh, in, a, in a mass protest that's, um, where breakout groups are having educational sessions with young people, old but, people, but who black... Knows about and this? this isn't trending. These, these, these sessions and groups are currently not, not trending. So I mean, they're it, not getting the publicity? Yeah, they're not getting the publicity they need. So to march, that trends. To show up in peace and love and harmony, that trends, and that's great. But in terms of the action, what happens after the march? After we march, what happens next? Um, a number of different tactics have been used for many, many decades in this country. Um, so you have organisations like the Monitoring Group, um, who monitor uh, police misuse of power and police racism and other forms of racial violence. You have the United Friends and Families campaign, who take legal action um, through the courts to try to get um, justice for those who have died at the hands of the state. Um, you have educators, youth workers, many different avenues. This is just one of many different avenues of resistance. And I think that one of the reasons it's come to this quite, perhaps you might argue, is an extreme form of um, radical protest is because many of these avenues of resistance have not brought about the necessary changes for the black life and black dignity that we all deserve to be fully recognised in this country.